I just got back from Nintendo Live in Seattle, and as one does at conventions and events, you accumulate a bunch of stuff. So today, I wanted to share with you guys my merch haul from Nintendo Live 2023. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Alrighty, so when we got there and checked in, we got these beautiful Nintendo Live tote bags with some goodies inside. There was a gold Nintendo Live 2023 Seattle coin featuring Mario, a Nintendo Live activity book, a flyer for Super Nintendo World, and a set a Mario pins. I got the Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, and Yoshi pins. These seem to be randomized as others got different ones. The tote bags actually came in handy big time for carrying around all the other stuff that we picked up out on the show floor, which is everything that you see right here. One of the cool things about Nintendo Live is that they had a bunch of photo opportunities with different Nintendo characters. If you took a photo with a character, you got a patch. I took a photo with and I got patches for Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Tom Nook, KK Slider, and the Paldea Starters. The only two that I'm missing are Kirby and Isabel. Isabel was especially tough given the long lines for Animal Crossing and how often each character rotated out. Patches aside, I also got a lot of pins. Pins were a pretty big part of Nintendo Live as well since you got one each time you played a game. I got a pin for Splatoon, Pikmin, Smash Bros, Zelda, and Mario. I know there were a few others out there that I'm missing, but I got the majority of them here. Aside from those, I also got the Fue Coco pin from Pokemon alongside an Umbreon deck, the PAX exclusive Penny Arcade Inkling set, and I also got the red Pigment pin which is the same as the sticker that I've had on my 2DS for so many years. I also got a few Elephant Mario keychains. You got one of these each time you played Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and as you can see, I played the game quite a few times. Also Wonder related were these acrylic stand sets featuring characters from the game. You got these by signing into and scanning your My Nintendo QR code. All of that stuff doesn't include what I bought at the pop-up shop. I picked up quite a few things there. I got the Nintendo Live pin set, the Super Mario Bros. movie LP that came in an exclusive gold color. I got Reggie's book, Disrupting the Game, which is autographed by him and was pretty tough to find on the show floor. And I also ended up picking up a yellow Pikmin plush. My friends Aaron, Greg, and I each got a different color Pikmin, which tagged along with us on our Nintendo Live adventures. For clothing, I bought the Nintendo Live Seattle shirt which I couldn't resist. It has an 8-bit design of the Seattle skyline up front and it has a little 8-bit Mario round back. It's got a nice minimal design. I also bought the exclusive Nintendo Live patch hoodie. I went back and forth debating if I wanted this thing but I am so glad that I got it. It's comfy and it looks surprisingly good too. And lastly in my haul I got a set of Bowser stickers and a Nintendo Live Washington sticker sheet. You got one of these with each purchase that you made at the pop-up shop. It's really cool stuff. Stuff. So those are all of the things that I got in my haul from Nintendo Live 2023. Definitely a lot more stuff than I expected to come back with, but I am not disappointed. I'll still never fully understand though how I was able to fit all of this stuff in my carry-on and in my backpack. They were just bursting at the seams. Thank you so, so much again to Nintendo for having me and my friends at the inaugural Nintendo Live. It was an absolute blast and I cannot send enough thank yous. It was such an incredible weekend. Being there and getting to experience all the love Love and all the joy and all the passion for Nintendo. It was so wholesome. It was really cool to see in person. Who knows, maybe we'll see more Nintendo Lives in the future. You know, Nintendo Live New York, Nintendo Live LA, Nintendo Live Chicago, Nintendo Live Dallas. That would be so, so cool. Nintendo Live was easily one of the best events that I've ever been to, hands down. So that's about all I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at RaceTratsis on Twitter or X and Instagram for so much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!